Welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is another day. What is today? Today is Thursday. <laughs> and this is Stitch Your Stash number two. So Stitch Your Stash is um, a thing that I started where you take a yarn ball or a couple out of your stash that's been living there for a while and you make something with it. It's just that simple. <laughs> so I'm trying to, my goal is to use up some, especially like one ball of yarns that I have and use up like most of the ball. Uh, down to like a scrap ball that I could put in my scrap container. So I did one last week and now I'm doing this one. So this one I pulled out a ball of all of this yarn. This was a full ball of all of this yarn and it is a print called Flapper Girl. It is a multicolor variegated yarn and it's worth weight number four. So I've had that in my stash for a while. I believe I had two of those and I used one already. So that was just a leftover one single uh, skein. So first I made an amigurumi. And let me get my note. Got my little notepad here. <laughs> this is just called Jellyfish by, I think it's Yarn Hild or Healed. Yarn Healed. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I'll have it linked below. And it's a free pattern. It used uh, worst weight yarn and a 4.5 millimeter hook, which is a G, but it's there's two Gs. There's like the 4 millimeter G and there's a 4.5 G. <laughs> but uh, anyways, here it is. Just a little jellyfish. Isn't it cute? <laughs> it's made kind of like a rag doll. You make two panels. And then you crochet them together and uh, you make the little tentacles. There's five of them. And this part here, you go back and add it later. It's called, they call it the skirt. And um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't have to sew in any ends except the last tail because I didn't sew these in. What I did is when I made them, I sewed them all together in like a glob. And then I sewed, I crocheted through them when I was doing the uh, sewing together of the jellyfish. I saw uh, they're so they're crocheted in there <laughs> and then I went back and uh, did this double crochet like ripple thing for the skirt of the jellyfish is what it's called on the pattern but I think it's cute really quick make um, it used probably like a fifth of the skein maybe a fourth of the skein not very much and uh, I think it worked out really cute I like the way the yarn colors worked up it's a little stuffed a little and I used uh, 20, mil 20 millimeter safety eyes and little red heart super saver for the mouth there but I think it worked out cute I like the colors and it's just pretty it's a cute little jellyfish <laughs> and then uh so I still had a lot of the skein left so I decided I was gonna make a hat and um this will probably be for donation because I like to make them and donate them to local charities but um it's called the lakeside beanie it is another free pattern it's by five knots north knots with a k and uh, it's, I used an H hook, which is a five millimeter. So here's the hat. It looks small, but it's real stretchy. I didn't weave in my ends yet. <laughs> Just ignore that. I finished this in the car. <laughs> we, uh, we went out today to the parks and we went to get some barbecue from a barbecue truck. And uh, it was good. So anyways, it does fit my head. There's my tail. <laughs> so I liked how it had this extra big uh, part of the, the ribbing. I like the way that looks because it's like solid being up here and then it's like a big chunk of brim kind of but it's not really brim it's like most of the hat but I like it I made it uh, a snug hat because I per you know it's a beanie it's supposed to be snug and my tail looks horrible because I had to rip it with my hands because I forgot to take scissors with me so what I did is I unplied it so by untwisting it backwards you know and then I tore each all four of the plies individually so that's why it looks so crazy but anyways I'm gonna wind it in and no one's gonna know <laughs> and uh, I think it turned out really cute so this is the same yarn worked up differently with these is all single crochets up here in the body and these are double crochets so that's how it works up differently with double crochet and single crochets these are half double crochets here and this little skirt thing is double crochets i believe yeah and uh so that is the two projects that i made with that skating yarn i did have a scrap ball left over Let me wind it up a little bit more all right here's a scrap ball so it's still a pretty good size scrap ball for my um very good scraps, which I have a pretty good amount of them. And what I was thinking when I was um, at the park today uh, with the scrap ball, um, I think I might make squares. I might start making, I don't know, like six inch squares with the variegated ones. And then maybe, uh, cause I have a bunch of like Red Heart Super Saver Aaron and Soft White from where it was on that 64 cent uh, clearance. Um, border them in that and then put them all together to make like a scrappy blanket that is squares with a sim you know with the solid color border I thought that would be cute so I might do that with my scrap balls of variegated yarns um so I don't know I think I'm, I think I might do that but that's what I got out of that one this is this was a full uh scanning yarn too so I got an amigurumi a really cool hat <laughs> that I'll probably put in donation I love the colors 
And then I do have a scrap ball that I'm, I might put into a scrap blanket eventually. Who knows? But I think that's pretty cool. So I'll link both these patterns down below if you want to check them out. And uh, they're both free. I believe I said that. <laughs> uh, at, this one on Ravelry shows that it's paid. But if you go to the, um, the website, which is what I'll link below, it is free on their website. Uh, I think th the paid version is probably a PDF that you can download. But I just think it's cute. And I love making curly keys. It's always fun to do that. It's a cute little jellyfish. I'll probably end up donating both of these to local charities. I always donate to local charities. Um, but yeah, so that's so cute. But anyways, I'm going to take this hat off now because it's hot in here. My hair looks crazy already. It was wet when we went out. And so it got uh, wind blown, dried. So it, um, it looks fuzzy. But I think that's such a cute hat. Look at them. They're so cute little matching set <laughs> but i really like that pattern i'm definitely gonna save that and use that for more charity hats in the future and you could probably just you heard june crying david's was trying to get her to calm down she's real upset <laughs> but um you could increase the increases to make it bigger for like a man or just someone with a big head or someone with a lot of hair and you could also do it smaller for kids she is crying but anyways i took some clips today so i'll insert them at the end of us out doing stuff and um i will see you in another video i gotta go help him calm her down she's been upset since we got home i think she was in the car seat for too long so she's grumpy but i'm gonna hop off here and get this done and then probably um help calm her down and cut some fabric because i gotta get some fabric cut from bags coming up in the shop <laughs> but uh that's my second uh stitch stitch ear stash and i used up so far two whole skeins so far so that's pretty cool i get to add another ball band to my march ball bands and um i get another space on my shelf <laughs> but anyways i'm gonna hop off here and i'll see you guys in another video bye guys